Welcome to Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We are coming to you from Carson City inside the state capitol. I am so glad that Lisa Krasner is joining us. She is a member of the Nevada State Assembly, uh, District Number 26. Are you a new member, a returning member? Hello, Brad. Thank you inv uh, yeah, for inviting me to be sure. here today. I am a new member of the Nevada Legislature. I am an Assemblywoman for Assembly District 26. Tell us about 26, the great 26. Assembly District 26, I think, is the best Assembly District we have here in our state, the nicest people. Um, it begins over an Incline Village, goes across the Mount Rose Highway, encompasses uh, Arrow Creek, Field Creek, Double Diamond, Damani Ranch, the Old Southwest, and Hidden Valley. Well, no doubt it's beautiful. I mean, no doubt it's absolutely majestic. Um, I want to get a sense why you chose to run for the Nevada State Assembly. What's your background and what brought you to us today? Uh, well, I have an extensive background. Uh, I attended law school at the University of Laverne College of Law, and so I studied nothing but the law and the Constitution for the four years that I was there. Right. I, um, I'm a lawyer, so I get okay. it. I get it. I don't practice anymore, but I get it. Uh -huh. And then um, I taught at the University of Phoenix for about six and a half, seven years uh, in the political science department, teaching courses on political science, United States Constitution, Nevada Constitution, advocacy and mediation. I want to take your classes. State and <laughs> local political take, processes, um, business law. And then uh, currently I'm teaching at Trekkie Meadows Community College where I've taught for four years also in the political science department. Uh, so constantly looking at the United States Constitution, constantly looking at what our founding fathers intended for us in our government, and then um, reviewing what's going on in our current politics, and you know, allowing my students to also review that with me. And so often they would say, well, what they're doing there seems to violate the Constitution, Professor Krasner. <laughs> and you know, they were right. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you can either complain, stop complaining, mm -hmm or do something about it and run for office yourself. But think about this. You're a lawyer, you're a political science professor, and now you're a legislator. You literally have just an, annals of knowledge that you can put to good use because you're not interpreting the laws, you're not educating the laws, you're writing the laws now. I mean, this is where you are. Well, um, you know, I thank you for saying <laughs> that, but I take this position very seriously. It's an honor to be an Assemblywoman and represent the people of Nevada and right. the people of Assembly District 26 in their government. Right. And that's something we have to remember. Our government is intended to be of the people, by the people, and for the people. But I would presume um, when the voters of the 26 were selecting Lisa Krasner, they appreciated the depth of knowledge and the depth of experience that she brings. I mean, look, I'm a lawyer, so I guess I'm a little biased in favor of lawyers in the legislature. But we need a whole breadth of experience. We need business people, we need cattle ranchers. But it is nice that we have someone like you that we have the law, we have political science. You come with a full tablet. Well, in addition to that, mm -hmm. um, I was a commissioner for the State of Nevada right. Commission on Aging for our senior citizens for three plus years. And prior to that, I was a commissioner for the City of Reno Recreation and Parks Commission, advocating for a family-friendly environment in our community for seven years. So let's talk about today. You won. You're here. Yes. How is it? Yes. I mean, is it meeting your every expectation? Is it different than you thought it would be, similar to what you thought it would be? It's great. Yeah. I'm, I, as I said, I'm honored to be here and represent the people in their government. and. Um, I look forward to coming to work every day. I don't mind being here for 11 or 12 hours a day. Right. Um, I enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here, and I'm very grateful to the people of Assembly District 26 for electing me. Let's talk about one of your first pieces of legislation. We know that last year, or last session, I should say, a bill was passed that extends the statute of limitations for criminal purposes for victims of rape, meaning they can bring charges against the perpetrator from instead of 10 years after the event, 
20 years after the event. Is that a fair recitation, Professor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the, uh, in the last legislative session, a bill was mm -hmm. brought, and uh, it is the current law that a criminal action can be brought against somebody who rapes somebody else, and mm. the victim has 20 years within which to sue, that's correct. And as I understand it, you know, the kind of the backdrop of that was the Bill Cosby scenario, and we don't need to go there. That's right. But let's talk about what you're looking at, because there's another issue, and it's on the civil side, but I do want you to explain the bill that you're proposing and what brought you to it and its particulars. Uh, my bill deals with children. Uh, it would extend the statute of limitations for child victims of sexual abuse. The current law says that a child who is raped, sexually abused, uh -huh. uh, only has 10 years to bring a cause of action. The statute of limitation is 10 years. So if a child was raped when they were six, they only have 10 years to bring a suit against the person that raped them and say, you know, you did this to me and I want to hold you accountable. That's not enough time. And, and let's make the distinction, and again, I hate to bring up the Bill Cosby case, but what we see in the Bill Cosby case is there are criminal consequences for his actions, but then they have people that are suing civilly. And what you're looking at as well is the civil side. The 20-year statute for criminal liability, that's done. But what you're saying is that a child can bring a civil cause of action. Yes, this is for child victims of sexual abuse. Uh, I'm proposing to extend the current statute of limitations from 10 years for, for children right. to 20 years. Uh, and then I'm also, so that's when they're under 18. Uh, Once they turn 18, even though they um, ha sustain the abuse as a right. child, they only have three years. So under I, current law. Correct. So I'm also proposing to extend that to 20 years. And the rationale is because it might take a child that long yeah, to get deep. up the courage right. um, or go through therapy and be brave enough to say, this happened to me, that person right. did it, and I want to hold them accountable. This would allow a child victim of sexual abuse to have that closure that is so important to them in their life. I feel your passion. I, I feel it. How did you come to realize that this uh, needed to be fixed, that there was this hole that needed to be closed? Um, if you have been following uh, the newspaper, there mm -hmm. was an article within the last six months in USA Today talking about uh, coaches right. oh. that have been repeatedly yeah. raping the gymnasts, the girl gymnasts, uh, even those girls that were training for the Olympics over a period of 20 years, and it's only now coming to light. Makes me sick. And I have two daughters. It makes me sick. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, parents are trying to do good things for their children. They put them into a gymnast program, and they trust the coach, you know, to be there with their daughter mm -hmm. five days a week or their son mm -hmm. five days a week. And basically, this person who's in a position of trust with your child is the very person that's raping them and molesting them. When we come back, I want to hear what's going on with this piece of legislation. We'll be back in a little while, a few months, okay. because clearly this matters to you, and we appreciate your passion on it. Her Thank name you. is Lisa Krasner. She is a member of the Nevada State Assembly. My name is Brad Pomerantz. Inside the state capitol in Carson City, this is Local Edition. Thank you.